Hello YouTube, Jibo Unit here. We've got part five of restoring the Russian Mosin Nagant M9130 rifle. Okay, so in the last video you saw how I ended up reassembling the trigger assembly into the receiver and installing the receiver barrel into the wood stock and you know holding it together with these retention clips here. So now this rifle is almost ready, okay? So Got the trigger, works real nicely. Oh gosh, I'm already imagining firing this thing. Okay, so now the next part is the magazine. We want to put the magazine together. So I'll put this rifle away to the side for a bit. And here are the pieces. Okay, so we've got the bottom of the magazine assembly. It's the little bottom trap door. We got the, the magazine and trigger guard assembly and two set screws, a longer and a shorter one, and our um, takedown tool. Okay, so what you want to do now is make sure that your trigger assembly and housing uh, is, you know, set the right way. So we're going to make sure that the trigger guard is up, it's facing up, okay, because we want to look into the bottom of the magazine. This is the bottom of the magazine. If you notice right here, there is a pivot pin right there, okay? All right, that pivot pin is going to hold this part of this um, bottom door, okay? And see, it's it's closed right there. All you do is just take this like a plier, press it, and it'll open, okay? See how that opens? So holding that, okay, now this springy part, this is... This is what the bullets rest on. It's going to push the bullets up, okay, and feed it, okay. So we're going to put this inside the magazine, all right. So again, making sure we're looking at the bottom of the magazine because the trigger guard is right there, okay, and we see our pivot pin right there. We're going to take this right here. This is what's going inside, so make sure you flip it over, okay. We're going to press it to open the jaws right there. And we're just going to slide that right in here to the pin. Okay. Let go of that. Okay. There you go. Just like that. Drop it in here like this. And it closes. All right. See? And, and basically, all you do, the gun's loaded. You want to unload the gun. With it, with, it, with it assembled, you're going to pull down, see, you pull it down, and you're going to pop the door open just like that, and any remaining rounds will fall out, okay? And then all you do is just put it back together, okay? Easy. All right, so we're going to put this inside the rifle, okay? I'll go ahead and maybe this is, but yeah, I'll do it this way. Hopefully it won't shake too much. Okay, here's our rifle. All right. And we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Now, of course, you see how there's an opening here? Obviously, that's where this trigger is going to go into. So you're not going to do one of these and screw it up. And uh, besides, this is the bottom of the magazine, remember? Got that clip, this trap door right here. So we're going to line it up like so. Okay and it'll go in there, make sure the trigger goes in the trigger housing and it should seat in real smooth just like that alright okay now that it's set here just make sure that everything lines up everything looks right okay now we're gonna take the shorter of the two set screws here, the shorter one and it's gonna go right here okay it's going to go on this slot, you know, it's because it requires a shorter screw. The longer one has to go through this thickness of this stock uh, from the top into the trigger housing to, to seal the whole thing together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Take our handy dandy tool. Go ahead and screw this in. Now I'm not going to crank down on it because, you know, I don't want this to, you know, a jar or move around when I when I screw this down all the way so I'm just gonna snug it up just a little bit okay and 
that's another thing you got to make sure that this thing lines up. Okay, so huh, it's not lining up. Okay, obviously this may take a couple of tries to do. It's being stubborn. All right, there it goes. Then you're going to flip this over and you're going to take the longer screw because you're going to hold that in because it goes in here in the top. Okay, right there. So go ahead and drop that in. Feed it in there. Okay, this, this is screwing in a lot easier. So again, I'm not going to cinch down on it real tight. Just gonna snug it up. I'll flip this thing over and continue to tighten down on this, which is being very stubborn. What it's telling me is that it's probably not lining up. The threads are clear, but it's just being stubborn. Okay, so. All right. Tell you, if I was a Russian in the field, I'd be a dead Russian because this thing's not putting back together. So I'm going to go ahead and this is probably good to see because then you can see how to how to try to properly line this thing up. So I'm going to take this off of here again so I can remove the trigger guard and magazine assembly because I'm going to feed the screw in to make sure that it does screw down. And it's maybe just a matter of lining it up. Okay, so. Got that out. All right. Good way to test this out is I'm going to put this in here. Uh huh. Oh, there it goes. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this all the way in. It's quite possible this is probably what happened. Remember how I said that when I treated this stock, that I that I treated all the inside with oil and with the Danish oil and ballastol, and I even uh, made sure I got all the naked wood and even poured oil into the holes. Being that this didn't have an open end, this is a closed loop hole, I probably got Danish oil in there and it hardened. And so, which is why it made it difficult to, to um, made up the screw. So I'm just gonna screw this all the way down. Basically, I'm kind of, you know, clearing the, the threads of any residue, any oil, and you know, and I'm, I'm going to back it out again. So, just want to make sure that I can take this on and off. So, 
Uh, I guess that's a lesson learned, guys. You know, um, note to you guys who are refinishing your your stocks, and um, you know, if you pour a bunch of stuff all over your gun, this is probably going to be a point where it's going to, you know, cause you a little bit of grief. So that's exactly why it did not. It's probably exactly why it didn't um, screw in right. Is because there was residue all inside. So, now it's screwing in. And again, just snugging it up. Oop. See how it came out a little bit? Snugging it up. Hold that together. Take our long screw here. We already know that this one works. So, this ought to go on here pretty easy. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm not quite a dead Russian yet. If I was under attack, I'd be dead, but, you know. Here we go. Okay. See, I've got this screwdriver out just in case, but, you know, Russian ingenuity and simplicity. Assemble this whole thing with this. Okay, now I've snugged that down. Now, just like tightening a tire on a car, I'm going to Take it down a little bit here, tighten it each way, you know, you want to make sure you're not warping anything. All right, this should be the final crank down here. Oh, maybe not. Thought it was. Ooh, this thing's still going. Okay. This seems pretty snug. Put one more crank at it. Okay. All right. There you go. See? Now, I don't know if you can see this trigger action here. See that? That square in the back? That's what's holding, that's that bolt stop. When you pull the trigger, it goes flush inside and releases the bolt, which allows the firing pin to shoot forward and penetrate the back end of the shell or dent the back end of the shell to fire the, the ammunition. So, there you go. So now, last thing is, ta-da, put the bolt in. So, take our bolt, oh, sorry. We have to make sure that the bolt is lined up correctly. So we want to make sure that this piece is lined up with this piece. So we're going to take it and we're going to twist it. Okay. Oh, sorry. We have to make sure that it's all together. Okay. There we go. Now we'll take the bolt, feed it into the back here, like so. Actually, you can't do that. You gotta see if I can do this right. We gotta press the trigger, okay? Then we can slide this bolt in like so, just like that. There we go. Oh my gosh! And we've got we've got a completed Mosin Nagant. Oh my gosh! Oh. See? And that bolt stop piece I was telling you about is holding this back. Now watch this. Cool. Okay. Well, this is it. Oh, I'm so proud of this thing. And me. First time putting this thing together. So, this is the Mosin the Gaunt. So the next thing I guess you'll see on this is a, a range report, you know. Uh, firing this thing. So anyway, gosh, the, the bolt action is so smooth. Oh my goodness. And it doesn't rattle or anything. The only thing rattling is this magazine, which is okay. But that's it. Mosin the Gaunt. Thank you for watching. I hope this video or the series of videos was informative. So take care.